Here, what's up explorers? Today we're doing a mansion that everyone's done, their grandma's done, Joe Weller did, Abandoned Explorer did, his video did over 14 million views on this place. A ton of people's been here, Hell on Earth been here. You know what I noticed? I actually noticed that in the UK there's more abandoned channels than even in the whole United States. So doing abandoned here in the UK and having uh, like an abandoned YouTube channel is like really bigger here. So there's always tons of spots and I think that's really why. There's just so much abandoned here in the UK. But this mansion is pretty unique. Uh, it was built in 1861, owned by a doctor who's pretty much known as like a collector. Like she pretty much collects everything. I mean that's why there's tons of cars out here and we'll get into that later. Now they've been trying to sell this place for years and they, uh, eventually, you know, this place has been run down and it is pretty much run down. But in uh, the latest report was that it was auctioned for 95,000 pounds but no one ever bought and the auction just went back down again. They said it was located at a really historic area. Uh, and it kind of is pretty historic out here. We are really in the, middle, in, the, in the middle of nowhere and it's just a bunch of lands and fields and a bunch of sheep, of course. Pretty much the owner is just a big hoarder and we're gonna be going through 13 different bedrooms of just a bunch of stuff she owns. She does lamps, TVs, tons of freaking cars, tons of just furniture that she just loved to collect. Let's do it. Here's what the house looks like when you come up to it though. It's really cool to see like half the wall shut down. Really gives out like that, oh, this is destroyed and you don't really know how big it is from this side. And it looks like, like the Chernobyl feels you'd get. But I mean, dude, this one doctor owned all these cars. And before this place was up for sale for over a million pounds. And that didn't turn out good. Eventually so much urban explorers and kids came and trashed the place. I mean, like I said, this place is seen by millions everyone knows about this mansion but i think it's one of these places that i just had to do for myself and plus i wanted to get an instagram shot of the outside all these cars are just here and you don't really see too many abandoned cars like this just left here at a mansion it's a really windy windy day guys bear with me oh there's even a car right here We're now approaching the front of this place. It looks pretty cool on the outside. Check this out. It's overgrown, vines are growing all over the thing. It looks good, I think you could just walk through the front door of this place. Look at that, it has like a tint of green to it. When you have like a really cloudy, rainy day, it kind of sets the mood for these places. been to a ton of abandoned mansions and I will say some of the best abandoned mansions in the world are in France and Italy. Uh, the UK has some good ones, they're rare, but there are some around, some that I've never even seen. It's just trying to get to them and finding them that can be hard. It takes time, got to know the people, there's a, lot of, yeah, there's a lot of work into it. There's a lot of work to get just to do any abandoned place. All the traveling you got to do, all the money and gas, all the hotels, it is so much work you guys will never understand unless you're doing this. And anyway, so yeah, about, about this one. So I think what the UK lacks for abandoned and abandoned mansions is the art and paintings. And you know, when you look at some places, the walls and the pillars have all this cool like faces and you know, like different art that we just don't have. And especially in the US and all these places, but France and Italy has some of the best stuff. I can go in an empty mansion with nothing in it and still film it because the walls are cool with different like people's faces or gargoyles or like a gothic style and you know you can really see the difference in uh, the architecture when you go to these spots. Just walking around the house to check it all out and just there's so many ways inside. I think this actual spot collapsed unless she's just that big of a hoarder. I think she is. Yeah she just stuffed everything around here. I feel like this was our house just to store everything in. <laughs> Jeez. Oh yeah, it's huge though. We are literally on our way to Romania. This is our last stop in the UK, so 
our final abandoned video here in the UK before we head there. I'm not ready for the 25 hour drive though, but luckily I'm not driving, Dan and Bucky's driving. So that's good. Avoid the nails. Oh wow, all right, look at it, walking in so far. Like I said, I love like these spider type of gothic windows. Don't know that like actual name or architecture of it, but I just like it. Well, we're in. Like I said, but already walking inside here, you can just see that there's nothing compared to like a France mansion would be. Check my videos, guys, and you can see the difference between the UK mansions and the other ones. Well, don't even bother with the, the US mansions because they're just crap. Oh, this is really cool. Look at this fat TV. It's so crazy how times are just changing with technology. That's gonna cave in any time. Remember this house was up for like a, yeah, like a million dollars or something, even more. And then it got so destroyed, they dropped it to like a hundred thousand pounds. And then boop, it went down even more. One of the pianos here. While Cody's checking out the kitchen, I'm gonna just snoop around through this room. It's always better to split up, like in horror movies. Yeah, there's gonna be nothing left, even if there was anything. I'm sure they'll take it by now. I hear a lot of people in like these countries leave everything here, but I don't know. Every abandoned place I've been to, someone's stealing everything out of them. All right, the walk of death. Jeez. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah, she's definitely a hoarder. Oh, that's not safe. Why is the whole floor gone? I've never seen that. What's up, boys? Y'all just chilling outside the mansion. So we're going to go to the top floor. All right, let's get it. Yeah, so like I said, this place is split into four different parts. So, I mean, obviously it was converted, so you gotta go to different other areas to get inside the other areas. And other people who came here didn't know that, so that's good. They only get to see some of the stuff and not all the stuff. All right, everyone, we have a big problem. So behind this wall is pretty much the next area that actually a lot of people don't really know about. And we're trying to get to that wall, that side, to go upstairs. Thing is, it got completely blocked off by a metal sheet. And so we have no other option except to take every piece of bit of furniture around here and build a ladder right here to climb into this hole. I think everyone seems to be down. I'm game. He's game, I'm game, so totally game. Ready. You're just game now because we said you're game, so you're in. And so we're all ready. We're just trying to, you know, utilize this furniture we got. We got to utilize everything around us right now. We're making this situation work. It's gonna be pretty fun. Oh, we're, we're gonna make this happen, dude. Can I see? Yeah, flip oh, this way. Okay. Let me, uh, can you go a little bit more? idea was we're gonna do all this other furniture move and stuff but then we realized that this couch is actually pretty tall and it's enough just to get us up there so we're gonna just try to we move the piano around we're gonna try to squeeze this in and the piano is gonna hold it together so it's not gonna move so then we're gonna step on the piano step on here and boom we're up there and we'll try not to <laughs> die while doing it yeah <laughs> that too oh. That's in there. And hopefully we can get up to the top floor now so we can film more videos. <laughs> oh dude, I mean, if this, if this works, boys, we are going in. 
No, it's not. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, make sure your head's under those wires. There's no power in here, is it? Uh, we don't know. Mm -hmm. How's it look? Use that strength, Josh. He's up. He's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boys. We're filming still. All right. <laughs> well, this is actually better than the front. This is the better half. All right. Well, let's let's all. Someone grab my camera. I got film for me. <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way, and this proves it right here. We're trying to think of a way to uh, get down before we go for our own safety. I mean, how the hell have you planned to get down? I'm just, I don't know yet. I'm gonna figure that out after. I have the gloves here. <laughs> Pass on the gloves. Then. Okay. Look. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys, uh, give us a minute. We're gonna try and stack something else on here so it's easier. Okay, be safe. Yeah, guys, anyways, so check this out. This is the piano I wanted to see, but I can't walk on this floor no more. Apparently it's super destroyed. But even got a painting in the back. But of course, no one's crazy enough to walk on this floor. So it's just all pretty, you know, pristine in its own way, pristine in its own way, that I heard about. There was seven pianos total in this room, or well, house, so we're seeing them all. But look at this. Check out these railings, this is really interesting. And this is where I think Joe Weller decided to smash stuff and throw it off the couch. I remember he was with his friends just taking up random items, just throwing them down there and smashing stuff. Definitely not cool. It's cool to explore and stuff, but definitely don't break anything. No hate to the dude. Besides, I was in the boxing match. I was, I, he's a good guy. I just hate that he did that. Oh, now we're, dude, this, yes, we're making it somewhere. This is the stuff I like to see. Some items, some furniture. I mean, I can deal without the red paint, but, you know, it brings its character in. I'm surprised that with 14 million views on one video and place been seen and done by everyone that this place is not as destroyed as I thought it was going to be. I actually really thought it was going to be worse. I should watch where I step though. Probably not even going to walk over here. Some house. Look at this. Definitely not safe. Oh dude. Oh, you're it's doing pretty that. dope, right? Yeah, this this is the room. This this is the room for pictures and cinematics. Mm, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Before yes. I walked in here. Before you walked in, yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> hey, this is the grand piano, guys. It works. I just this play, is... I just played a Linkin Park song. Did you? Can you play it again for us? Yeah. I only know that one part. I want to hear it. <clears throat> It's not a tune, but you can you can tell what it is. <laughs> it's already set up perfect. Whoever came in here last, I don't know when that sheet of metal was placed there. I think it was a month ago. So I guess we came at a wrong time. But yeah, we may we may do. We're probably the only ones that probably came up through that way. But we did what we had to do. Yo, by the way, if you haven't checked out the merch, check it out, riseabove.shop. We're selling it, yeah. Yeah, so like when you go to France or Italy and different spots, I mean, generally everywhere, but you'll see this sort of like set up everywhere. A lot of urban explorers come here, they'll make sure it's pretty pristine. You know, they tilt that down, they add their own look. Trust me, this wasn't here in just in like a frozen time capsule. Someone came here last and definitely got some cool pictures here. They're kind of like set decorators. Yeah, yeah, pretty much like, you know, you, in the you, movies. Dude, the people that urban explore and they take great pictures are like people who literally could be like real estate agents exactly. and taking pictures for houses for like a job. Definitely 100%. That's actually how I started, so. Yeah, so it's cool. I have a ladder right here. Yeah, we, could. Yeah, we might better use this ladder to get downstairs. Use get down. yeah. That would be good. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. You, you can get on the roof. I don't know, I'm gonna try. 
Alright guys, we're gonna try and get on the roof. <laughs> oh, my head! Oh, that almost smashed your head in, dude. Oh, it just like went flying down. Ah, uh, well I caught on tape. Oh my god! This is crazy! There's a castle over here! This is why I love the UK. We've got the castle over here. Tons of crows. There are a lot of crows. I'm like, why do I hear so many crows? Yeah, the roof is falling apart. But then look at this. It's beautiful. It's freaking amazing here. This, yo, and the, and the fogginess and the clouds. This is like the best part of the video for me. How's the underground look? I'm scared to even go over there. Yeah, this is this is great. It's cool because we're in such a very small town, but this is actually the biggest house in the town, and it was listed at like a little historic mansion. And it's the biggest mansion in this town. We are really in like a little like rural town. It's beautiful. If we were in the US, with all the attention this place got, that room we were in with the piano and it was all set up nice, would not look like that. It would be way more destroyed. So it's actually, that's, that's interesting to see. You can sometimes see the differences in each place you go to. There's less graffiti here. I mean, if you go to Berlin, uh, in Belgium, those abandoned places, they're like all gone. All spray painted. You'll find some rare ones, but I don't know, I just kind of know. <laughs> from doing this for so long. Some of the best places I go to in adventures are the places that are just completely random, that I didn't have on the map, that was completely unplanned. This was one of them. Uh, one, of the, one of the coolest uh, adventures in different spots I've ever done. I never had a stack furniture to go up to the second floor from, from a hole. Um, I don't know how that hole even got there, but <laughs> worked out for us. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out everyone that's been here with us. Obviously, Exploring with Fighters, Exploring with Cody. And yeah, dude, guys, thank you so much. Another guy that was with us too is called Proven Demons. He was the guy you've seen in another video when he was ghost hunting. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do, oh, 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 if you do like the merch, it's like on the website called riseabove.shop. It's the clothing line. Been repping it for a while now. It's definitely the best stuff ever and it's been helping me out so much so thank you guys for the support and everyone who's been buying it's been selling out every single drop of the day i, I put it back online i don't talk about it too much on youtube i kind of do but i kind of don't it's there though for anyone who wants to buy it check it out thank you again and yeah rise above just got to explore peace and thanks for watching and the next video you will see i finally hit romania we're going to be heading on to like a 16 day road trip throughout romania hitting up some of the best spots that no one has ever seen probably and we're going to discover things that not even national geographic has seen or discovery channel